Welcome to Rougham Innovation Centre 2020. We can't have you along to the site this year, so I thought I'd give you a virtual tour and show you what's been going on. So this is an overview of the site. It's quite a big field this year. And we've got winter wheat varieties, winter barley varieties, a trial looking at drill date and BYDV risk. And you can see from the picture there where we drilled on the 23rd of October on the right hand side, it established much better than where we drilled on the 20th of November. We're also looking at winter barley seed care and winter barley fungicides. And then we also have a trial looking at different seed rates and row widths with different varieties of winter wheat. The objective of that is to understand how row width impacts the growth um, and the yield of different varieties with different tillering capacities. And the reason we're interested in that is because all of our variety um, data to date has been developed using small plot drills such as those you see in the pictures. And what we want to be able to do is make our advice more relevant to your farm situation. We know that with direct drilling um, and minimum tillage being a more important part of the farming system these days, we're moving towards wider rows for trash flow during the drilling operation. So we wanted to understand how that affects the crop. So we've chosen Crusoe and Gleam as a low and high tillering capacity variety. Now we know that Gleam gets its yield from producing lots of tillers, um, and so we're using that as our high tillering variety, um, whereas Crusoe is a lower tillering variety, um, so that's our representative variety there. You can see the different seed rates and row widths there, so that's the same number of seeds per row. And also you can see the difference in the growth of the varieties with Crusoe standing up more than Gleam. We'll be doing lots of assessments to monitor this trial throughout the season. If we move on to look at what we've done this spring so far, um, you can see that we have quite a significant population of black grass in the field this year. And that's because we didn't manage to get a pre-em on because conditions didn't allow. So we've had herbicide applications for that and you can see there we've also been doing some spring drilling recently so the trials team have been there drilling um, different spring crops and also spring barley varieties. So that's what's been going on so far. Um, over the next few weeks we'll be doing some more nitrogen applications. We'll also be monitoring the crops to see if leaf four is emerging and if we're at our T0 timing yet. And we're also monitoring for any rust presence in the crop um, because we know that we will need to adapt our treatments according to whether rust is there or not. So Amistar strobilurin product gives good protection. Um, if we start to see rust in the crop, then we will need to use a rust active triazole to make sure we keep on top of that, even from this very early timing. Although we haven't picked up any rust specifically at Ruffham just yet, we have seen yellow rust appearing in several varieties around the country and some of those varieties we wouldn't necessarily expect to see rust in, for example Dunstan which you see in the picture um, in Shropshire there, so one to watch out for. So that's all for now, we'll try and keep you updated throughout the season.